failed. It was just all oh, the chicken better go into the coop and not the tree. Hey everybody, it's Liz at Northern Bell Farms. I already made this video once of um, what you can start planting now. We're in zone 8B, basically 9, and if you're in 7B or down, you can start planting any of this stuff now. Uh, seeds do like it a little warm to germinate, so if you have a light that you can set up either on top of your fridge or have a specific grow shelf set up somewhere. I have a whole room inside for a grow room, and I have this greenhouse, which is a 12 by 12 old window greenhouse um outside which does keep it much warmer it was freezing last night and i took my temperature thing inside to monitor the humidity for the mushrooms but it easily feels like 80 degrees in here right now it has warmed up really nice today um i'm actually loving it i'm pretty sure it's close to 70 outside 65 70 it's really nice today um so i've come outside to work in the greenhouse a little bit um earlier this week when i first started this video uh, we did lettuce, uh, way too many different kinds of lettuce, probably about a dozen or 15 different kinds of lettuce. So I planted 24 heads of each, um, still unsure where I'm going to put it, but, um, we might be able to find somewhere. We have some Swiss chard started back there along with some catnip, um, chamomile, pan uh, pansies, not peonies, pansies. Um, we did start, um, other, like, dandelion and mizuna along with our lettuce, um, because they go into our salad mix bags, so we started stuff like that, um, last time I did this video, and then our herbs and cold weather crops. Now, most of our cold weather crops have been already started, some of them made it, some of them didn't, um, It's a very pretty Christmas cactus. Um, so, I think I'm going to either repot this or it's got, because it's so humid in here all the time, it's got these um, roots coming off of every leaf. I think I might, after it's done blooming, I might snap them, a bunch of the leaves off and plant them in the ground or lay them on top of the dirt so that they can plant themselves. But, um... What was I saying? We have some collards. Um, we have some chamomile, some St. John's, some celery, uh, more pansies, collard greens up here, along with some flowers back there that are supposed to be, um, I forget what they're called, but they're supposed to look kind of like they're supposed to grow up and look like baby's breath. So. Um, then we have some, well, the dill's outside, and the cilantro, um, I gotta get going on some parsley, and then we have, what's that, that looks like set more celery, and some things over there, there's some cumin, I have no idea when that's supposed to grow, but it's doing great, so, nails fine, and then all my peppers that I started in the fall that we're going to put out in the spring. Those are not a suggested thing to plant now. Um, just the other things that I stated. And then we have... So, as I said before, um, this should be much quicker because last time I organized it as I went. But I had a box full of things that I put into... This is my system out in the greenhouse. It is a wall mailbox. Um, one of those ones that goes outside an apartment or your door. Um, I used to just stack all my seeds. There's even a couple up over there now up on top and then come in here like a crazy person with the hose and just like spray everywhere because at one point I even had, um, up here where the pots are. I had plants up there too. Uh, in the spring we get overthrowed with plants and they're just everywhere, anywhere I can shove them. So there'll be plants even in front here of where I have the seeds right here. So this keeps it pretty dry i can come in here and i can spray everywhere and this in here won't get very wet at all if wet 
Um, but this is how I organize them in order of how I'm going to plant them. And I already had my lettuce, so I have like flowers and herbs because they take extra long and most herbs like it cool. I think the only one I can think of off the top of my head is maybe moringa, echinacea, and um, basil that actually like it like any kind of warm whatsoever. The rest like it pretty cool. So we have a few started like I had said. And then we have... I'm going to set it down. In the first stack, which means hopefully I'll get to this week, I have... It says Salanova green lettuce, Lola lettuce, uh, dahlias, white dill, and pincushion. Pincushions are really pretty flowers. They're small, like a buttonhead flower that we use in our bouquets. Um, status is another one of my favorites that we will always put in cut bouquets. We have um, this one is purple, light yellow, rose, and purple. One says Seeker Purple, and the other says Iron Purple. Um, so one's probably a lilac, and one's actually probably a darker purple. I did see one year on one of my gardening groups, I'm unsure if it was like an edited photo or a real photo, but someone had the blue status, um, and it was a really pretty rich royal blue. I know that I've also seen um, light blue. Again, I don't know if they're real or somebody like edited the photo to make the color darker, richer than it actually was. But if you know where I can find or have some seeds of the blue status, I would love some and I will trade you some seeds, definitely. Um, cone flowers or echinacea. We have a couple of those. I have one um, of my saved cone flowers from last year and then a new one. We're going to plant all of it and then hopefully this year I'll have enough. That way I can sell some seeds on the Etsy, Etsy shop um, next year. We have a Snapdragon mix. Straw flowers we love. Hopefully I'll have enough for those for the Etsy shop next year. More cilantro. This is what I was saying. Um, guys, Phila. I don't know how to say this. and I'm sorry. It's probably backwards for you. Um, but this is a small white flower. It looks like baby's breath. I'm trying to incorporate a few smaller plain white flowers to use in my bouquets this year. Instead of all the fun colored flowers. Um, this is the kaleidoscope, um, the kaleettes that we have in the garden that I'm very proud of every time we walk through there. I'm definitely going to try and grow some of those in the spring. They've done awesome over winter. I will plant tons of them. I will buy a bunch more for next year, and then I'll let some go to seed. I didn't plant that many this year um, in the fall because I was just trying it, and I didn't want to lose all the seeds if it didn't work. But it's worked out great, so I will definitely have that all the time. Um bok choy, more collards, borage I need to get on, especially if it's going to get this warm again, straw flower, more pansies, this is what pansies I have, here's a picture of straw flower if you don't know what straw flower looks like, um, they feel kind of like paper, uh, they're really pretty. They're kind of like a vintage, vintage feel. Um, I showed you the echinacea. Uh, the dahlias, I have a couple different kinds. These dahlias are the smaller ones. They start out as seed. They like to grow when it's a little cooler. They will turn into a tuber if you leave the seed in. I have a red skin and a plain one. Um, let's see, here's another kind of baby's breath. That I hope will grow. I tried it last year and it didn't grow very well. So we're going to try it again this year. <clears throat> I was hoping to get this planted in the fall. But I did not. I have bought a blue and a purple um, salvia sage from the store this year. Um, but I really wanted to plant this pink. I should have done it before. Same with this yarrow. I should have planted all this yarrow earlier on in the fall. Probably Thanksgiving time. So that it would be ready for now. Um, and then I have all this calendula that I have to get on because it needs it cold the second it gets too warm. It's not going to grow. So I have um, Pink Surprise, Orange King, Snow Princess, uh, and then there should be somewhere a Pacific Mix and another one. 
but this is what I hope to get planted this week. It's Tuesday, so I really hope that by Sunday I can have all this planted. I have to work today, though, or tonight, and I have uh, just Thursday off. I'm going to try a couple more of the Brussels sprouts. Some early sprouting broccoli. I think we might be able to get some of that before it gets too hot. <clears throat> Parsley, of course, I'll just throw it in the ground. I'll put it in pots and all that. This is a cumin that I planted over there that's actually doing pretty good. So I might not even need to sow, sow more of that. Wild bergamot is like a bee bomb. I'll show you if I find a picture of some of it. Um, but we tried some last year and it was so beautiful in the cut bouquets and it smelled so good. It's one of my favorite smells. I didn't know that bee balm was bergamot and, bergamot and last year I had cut the bee balm and I smelled it and I was like, oh my god, this is the smell I love. So, bee balm is bergamot. Bergamot. Um, more moringa, of course. I have a couple up there. I need to water everything in here. I was not expecting it to be so hot today. Last night was freezing, so... You know, I didn't think it was going to be 70 today. These we tried last year. We didn't end up getting any. Um, so I hope that maybe if I try them earlier, maybe we can get some. <clears throat> Fever few didn't do too well last year. It grew, but we didn't get any flowers. It got too hot and died. More echinacea, more echinacea. Always have a ton. Our golden lemon balm last year never got golden. I don't know if it's like in the fall it turns this color kind of thing. Um, our fenugreek never grew. It got a couple inches and then always died. Um, horse heel, edible, chrysanthemums. Didn't grow very well. I think it got too hot too quick. Dill. We always have a little bit of dill. And we have to try and pick it because it only grows until about April. Maybe the beginning of May and then it's done. Too hot. Won't grow. So we try and get it up and out and go as fast as we can um now i think i'm going to try this more for the i really want to see them grow but they have these two cabbages there's a green one and a purple one and they're like little ox heart shaped cabbages and i really want them to grow we tried overwintering them and they didn't i might have got like one or two sprouts and i didn't even bother planting them um the purple cauliflower orange cauliflower uh, we did have all this stuff. It didn't make it very well. I'm going to try again just a few. And hopefully we can get that done by next week. And then my last row in the mailbox for um, probably before Valentine's Day is the deal that all these should be in the dirt before Valentine's Day. These are some more carrots, pelleted carrots. This one is purple, and this one is yellow bunch. So those are carrots. We're going to do one more round of carrots, hopefully, before it gets too hot. Um, choice mix centura. So these are bachelor's buttons. I think I might just sprinkle those in the garden. Kohlrabi. I got some of these from my friend uh, Stephanie. She has Jones Creek Farm out in Midway. We trade seeds all the time, so she took some of my seeds. I took some of these kohlrabi. Never grew it, tried it, eaten it. I'm going to try it. Some more status. This says Seeker White. Leeks. I've never grown leeks. Um, we tried over the fall. I didn't have any germination on any of them. I don't know if I... I don't know. So if anyone's grown leeks, uh, leave me a message in the comments and let me know any tips or tricks or basically a dummy list of how you start it. Like, do you just sprinkle them out do you sow them direct sow them do you put them in a pot do you put dirt on them do you just sprinkle them out uh do you keep them watered a lot do you keep them drier i don't know nothing about leeks but i would like to grow some so they're in my list to definitely try again for spring since they don't work for winter these um specialty avalanche beets i'm sure are white beets since they're called avalanche and last year we didn't get to try any we had all those beautiful golden beets and the ringed beets with the white and the pink like candy cane looking ones and then the light pink and the dark pink and they were so gorgeous whenever we cut them up like i just wanted to eat them raw because they look so beautiful and i was told that the white beets are like sugar so i really wanted to try some this says canterbury bells mix so I'm excited about that flower. This is a gonfrina. 
we often grow this every year um it's also called globe amaranth it's an edible flower uh we have a soap girl who buys some and puts it on top of her soaps and she calls that soap the bell mix um we have white carrots we have these flowers i grew some last year they did awesome they were great they don't really last very well in cut flowers but they're pretty and they do like it hotter they definitely do good in the summer but as usual flowers take a little bit longer to start so usually you want to start them sooner so if you're in zone seven or up you might want to think about starting your flowers probably around shortly after valentine's day definitely by um St. Patrick's Day, you probably want to have your flowers and cold weather herbs started. That way you can get to getting them out in uh, April or beginning of May. Depending on how, you know, May is probably a little bit later, but. Um, this says sugar, snacks, carrots. Um, early carrots, yeah, yeah. Butterfly milkweed, because we had um, monarch butterflies or, uh, I mean, black swallowtail butterflies all over the garden last year with this, so we're definitely going to grow that. So these are my cold weather flowers that I have to get started and food and stuff that I have to get started definitely before Valentine's Day, because at Valentine's Day is when we start our peppers, our tomatoes, our... Um, eggplants things like that um usually our last frost is st patrick's day so mid-march is when we start putting things out they start direct sowing squashes and things like that but um so valentine's day usually is when i want the cutoff so that our plants will be close to getting ready to put out in the ground when it's nice and warm so if you are in zone seven i'll put these in here 7b or below you could probably follow that schedule of um planting everything right before or on valentine's day for uh, cold weather herbs crops anything like that you want to get started in the spring get a jump start on um anything that i might have showed you like the swiss chard uh celery collards chamomile st john's feverfew parsley uh, cilantro dill all that and then um by st patrick's day start your other stuff um we try to do things like even when i put the bunnies together we try to do things on the holidays so that everything around us is reminding of us of that time um like when i put the bunnies together i put them together on january 12th i think it was so we should have baby bunnies on or around valentine's day so that i can expect and i can know and we do the same thing we plant we have a plant schedule of what we want to have done by valentine's day and by saint patrick's day and then not really much besides um then we go to july 4th is usually another planting one we want um everything to be harvested and going in for another round of things um july 4th usually is cold weather stuff like we want to get the pumpkins going and um anything that we're thinking about starting and having for fall is july is when we start that so that way we can be harvesting in the fall what honey So I'm glad this video was much shorter. My other video when I had to go through everything was about 40, 45 minutes, but this one only says 15 so far. So we've done good. There was a couple cute things that we're going to miss from the other video when I had the girls out here with me, but um, they're in all the videos. So I'm in the video. So, don't conform people, be transformed, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.